Thank you, Ryan. A final farewell today for a little boy who was stabbed to death walking home from school. Friends, family, and others gathered to say farewell to 11-year-old Josue Flores. Channel 2's Sion Rhodes joining us live now with how they honored this fifth grader's memory. Sion? And we've been seeing how they've been honoring him for this last seven days. People gathering here, still bringing balloons, flowers, stuffed animals. This community is still very much mourning the loss of Josue Flores on the day he was laid to rest. Among the mourners gathered at Holy Name Catholic Church Tuesday. It's, it's very hard for me to, to, to be here. Um, he's, he was just an amazing little boy. Josue's teachers from Marshall Middle School. He wanted to have good grades all the time. He always laughed. He always smiled. He was always very positive about everything. His classmates arrived wearing t-shirts in honor of their friend. This is Rip Josue Flores. But barely able to say much else, still in shock over the loss. It's been, um, really hard. Yeah. They understand that it wasn't his time. They know that it, that it was a hateful crime. Um, and they know that they are, they want this community to get better. They really do. Music is for the soul. Hopefully it makes them feel better. Students from nearby Jefferson Davis High School's mariachi band performed during the service and reflected on the little boy who could have been their little brother. He's young, you know, he, he's only 11 years old. You know, I'm, I'm 18. I lived, he has a man. And a young life full of potential and promise, gone too soon. He really was a bright student. He wanted to succeed and, and be an amazing person, and I'm sure he would have. I hope they are in heaven. And as people here struggle to come to terms with Josue's death, they are also still struggling with their own fear and anger. The fact that Josue's killer is still out there. Reporting live on the north side, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Completely understandable, Sion. Thank you. The family has set up a GoFundMe account to help with funeral expenses in six days. This account has already raised more than $51,000. We have a link to the account on clicktohouston.com. Police hope this new surveillance video, by the way, of the 11-year-old walking home could hold clues to the case. This is video of Josue walking home the afternoon he was stabbed and killed. The reward in the case is now up to $15,000. Our coverage of Josue Flores' murder extends to our website. There you can stay up to the newest developments as police search for a killer. We do have a description of the person investigators are looking for. Just click on the story on our homepage.